Hi everyone, it's Helen from MDI and I'm going to be doing some beginner ballet exercises. This is a continuation from my last two videos. So, so far you should have done your warm-up, your plies and your tendus, your bat glisse and your rond de jambe. Um, this video we're going to be looking at the um, Batman frappe, the fondue and I'm going to do a little bit of stretches as well. So to start off with, same as always, just make sure you've got lots of room, there's nothing in your way, um, nothing that can be damaged or you can hit yourself on. And we're just going to get straight started. Right, so first up we have our Batman frappe exercise. Um, so I am going to be doing bar work today, so make sure you have something that you can use as your bar. Just something to help support you so you don't want to really be leaning a lot of weight on the bar. Um, I'm going to just use the wall but you can use whatever you have accessible. Just make sure it's nice and steady, nothing that's going to wobble. Okay, so for this exercise we're going to start in either 5th or 3rd position. Arms bar bar, our preparation, we're going to prepare the arm through 1st. We open up the leg to 2nd and we flex and bring it into the ankle. Okay, so your Batman frappe needs to strike. So the idea of this movement is that it strikes the floor and then points out. So if you go in slow motion, it should strike the floor with the ball of the foot and then extend to a full point just off the floor. And it has a nice accent out, out, out. Good, okay, so let's put it all together for our exercise. So we prepare the arm. Arm and leg, flex the foot, bring it in. We have one in each position, front side, back side. So we go to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side, and back in. Okay, so that's part one. Part two, we have three in each position, same again, en croix, front, side, back, side. So after there, we have one, two, we hold on three. We go to the side, one, two, hold, three, to the back, one, two, hold, three, to the side, one, two, three. From there today, we're just going to bring it in, arms, bar, bar, to finish. Right, so first part of the exercise, one in each position, front side, back side. Second part, three, with the last one, the exercise, one, two, three. Three to answer comp for size, we go one close back, two close front, three hold, bring it to the back, one, two, three, back to the side, side close front, side close back, hold, close the front, arms rubber. Okay, so thing to think about shoulders, hips, keep them facing front. Nice senses engage, super hold, engage those muscles, engage the tail out so the legs are nice and turned out. When you go to the back, especially really try and hold this here. You don't want to let it go because it'll start letting the ribs in the centre move. So it needs to be super held. Right, so let's have a go with some music. <laughs> Okay, great work everyone. So our next exercise is our fondue exercise. So fondue means to melt and the idea in this exercise is that the legs are going to bend at the same time and they're going to stretch at the same time and that's how melting, the legs melting, bending in. Right, so we're going to start fifth or third position. 
on our introduction, we're going to prepare the arm and we're going to release the leg just off the floor, side, we then fondue, fondue, toe pose or coup de pied, just to the top of the ankle. We extend to the front just 45 degrees, from there super centres engage, pull up on this front leg with you press, we lower, we bring it in, coup de pied. We extend side, just off the floor, take a rise, put that tail out, and lower to the back, fondue, coup de pied. Extend back, make sure that leg's behind you, take a rise, lower, last one again to the side, fondue, extend to the side, take a rise, and lower. To finish exercise off, we're going to bring it to the floor, we're going to bring it in. We're going to take our right, so arms are going to stay in first position. Leg is going to come all the way to the floor this way. We're going to pull up on that spawn leg. We're going to test our balance from one leg, bring the arms to the first. Lower the leg, release the front foot, arms grab bar. Okay, so last position in your balance, leg is to retire. So the toe is just underneath the knee in this position, legs turned out for this. Okay, now in your fondue, you want to make sure legs turned out. So you want to make that nice diamond shape with the legs, knees over the toes, and then Ethan extends at the same time, it extends at the same time. So you've got that lovely bend. So you extend. Yeah, just a few things to think about. Right, let's go with our music. Prepare the arm, release the leg. Extend, take your rise, low to the side, one, two, extend, rise, low to the back, one, two, extend, rise, low to the side, one, two, extend, rise, low, bring the leg in, take that rise, leg up to a toe underneath the knee, pull up the support and leg, test that balance. Lower the leg and finish arms from up. Prepare, release the leg. One, two, two, one, run. Take your rise. Lower to the side. One, two, to the side. Take your rise. Lower to the back. One, two, to the back. Take your rise. Now, last one to the side. Extend. Take your rise. Let's try that balance legs in. Take the position. Leg up to the tire. Arms first position. Hold that balance. Hold. Lower the legs. And finish arms from our bar. Okay, great work everyone. So we're going to go into our stretches now. So before you start your stretches, make sure you are nice and warm. If you've been doing all the videos, you should be nice and warm by now. But if not, do make sure you are warm. Um, so for our stretches, really try and relax on the stretches. So you want to think about really kind of lengthening in. You don't need to bounce or pull. We want to try and relax and use like gravity to help us stretch. All the exercises I'm going to do for stretches are on the floor, so if you want to bring out your yoga mat, you can bring out your mat. If you're okay just doing it on the floor, that's fine, so that is up to you. So our first stretch, we're going to do our glutes. So we can take our right leg underneath, left leg on top. Now this position isn't comfortable for everyone, just depends on how your hips are structured. So if you feel like this doesn't feel very comfortable, then you can take up one leg in front of the other in this position. So you've got two options there, so just decide what's right for your body. Now whatever position you've chosen here, we're just going to take a nice relax over the legs and a little hold. Yeah? Okay, so for the rest of stretches, I'm going to put some music on, I'm going to talk you through the stretches. So keep holding that glute stretch while I put on a song and we'll continue from there. Good, and rolling up, swapping the legs over, whatever leg you had in front or on top, remember you've got those two options, 
same again, relax over the legs. This time we're going to have one underneath and one's just going to cross over. We're going to try and sit up nice and straight in this position. We're going to take a spiral towards that leg, give that back a nice stretch. Rotate and round back the other way. Good, swap the legs over. And spiral them again. And back the other way. Good. Okay. Taking with your right leg to the front, you're going to just hook the other one leg in up and we're going to relax over the legs. Now remember here really try and relax into the stretch yeah. If you can't quite reach the foot you can take hold of the shin just hold the position. If you can take the foot take hold the foot. Good, rolling up. Okay, we're going to take our leg into a nice broad position. So, soles the feet together, take hold of the ankles as far in as you can or as far out. And then we're just going to relax over in this position. going to take the legs into a second position. Now in your second position it can be as wide as you want. If you're not so flexible on the inside legs you can take it in and it's more of a v-shape. If you have the range you can take it further out. And we're just going to flex the feet here. Rolling through the feet, pointing those toes. And flex in the feet. And point through the toes. Good, relax the legs. We're just going to take a reach over. And rolling forward. And at the side. Good, up we go. Okay, we're going to relax forward. Same again as far as you can. If you're just onto the elbows, that's fine. If you're here, that's fine. Whatever position you are, just relax and try and let that lengthen happen. If you can come all the way down, just hold that position. Bring yourself up. Okay, for this stretch, 
you're going to take your left leg back, keeping toes facing and forward heels there, and we're going to burn that front leg and give that calf a nice stretch. Good, okay, nice, swap the legs over. Same on the other leg, toes face forward, heels down. As you can see, there's not a big lunge. Then forward so we get that nice stretch in the calf. Good, and we're gonna take it into the quad stretch now. For this stretch, if you want to use your bar or whatever you use for your bar, you can. We're going to take the left leg first, we're going to take hold of the leg. Now in this position, try and keep your knee in line so it stays next to me, it's not coming out to the side. And the foot stays behind as well, so this isn't coming to the side. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of the thigh. If you want a bit of an extra stretch, just push that hip forward. Good, releasing that down, swap the legs. Same again, same position. If you want the extra, push the foot forward. 